Hey there, now in today's video I want to talk to you about John Mayer's number one musical superpower he's using all the time to create memorable and listenable guitar solos. Now I've been talking about this musical technique with a few guitar students of mine and also some followers of mine and we all agree this is one of the reasons why his guitar solos and his improvisation is so inspiring and listenable. But before I tell you right away which musical superpower I'm applying here, let's make this a little fun game and let me show you a few examples and maybe we can guess together what musical superpower I'm applying here. Let's check it out. After watching these examples, it should be clear what I'm applying here is the use of musical motives. You may ask, what is a musical motive? That might be the repetition of a very distinctive rhythm or the repetition of a very distinctive sequence of notes and melody, or both at the same time, that's also possible. And you can really see in those examples that he's just coming up with those motives and he goes like, oh, um, I think I've got something here and then he plays around with this live, which is of course top notch level, it's very hard to do, but you can really see he's using the same idea and then he's changing that motive up. That's the interesting part because you don't see that coming. But it's very cool for the listener, listener to go, oh, okay, I think he's building something here. He's building a little story. And that's what makes this playing very, very in inspiring and interesting. And also that's, uh, a reason why some genres are not so listenable to the listener than others. For example, jazz music, of course there are motives there as well, but very less than so in pop music or blues music. I mean that's why call and response is also such a cool technique to use in your solos, because it really plays with a basic human psychology of question, answer, question, answer, and it really, really keeps the listener engaged and makes you want to hear more of a story. And John is probably so good at this because he listened to a lot of blues music and he really knows how to grab the attention of a listener. Now let's just follow fun of it. Maybe you get inspired by those licks. Check out those licks from those examples I just showed you and really try to play around with these. You can develop so cool motifs and it's gonna make your playing much more interesting. Let's go. This motive is very cool, it's really like he's talking to you and he's really just playing around with a pentatonic in D. He's bending up to a fifth and then there's a little micro bends. And he's really making sure he's picking right here at the bridge to get that spanky tone. Again, the same motive. Then this one is very cool. Then bending up a major second to the minor third. And then this is a clear classic male leg. Slide into the D note here and then reverse raking through a fourth in the vault. And then instead of just going again, he's doing a unison band, very Hendrix like, and it's really screaming at you. Now 
Uh, this one again is just a pentatonic lick, a minor pentatonic lick in B. He's starting here at the third position. Now he's picking the minor third twice while bending it up slightly. And then he's repeating the same phrase, the same rhythm in the first position. And then he's switching it up, but he could even go further and do it even in a lower position, like the fourth position, uh, the fifth position. He doesn't do that, but that's a thing you want to think about. Again, it's just playing around with the G minor pentatonic over the corporation of gravity. Then he's just playing the root note here, sliding into the fifth of the G string, and then sliding all the way here from a minor seventh of the tenth fret to the twelfth fret, and then he's sliding all the way down. not really here audible if he's doing a quick slide or just a very heavy vibrato but you can do both something in this video then please leave a like subscribe to the channel down below also consider supporting me on patreon for early access and downloadable tabs and yeah i would like to see my next song bye bye